Hello, my name is Loïc Dosso, Business Development Manager at Tech Data. Today, we are going to go over an introduction to Cisco Hyperconvergent Solution Hyperflex. To really understand and appreciate the value of the Hyperflex, let's first reflect on the traditional infrastructure. In a traditional architecture, all infrastructure are siloed using different tools, SLA, processes, applications. Somehow, siloed infrastructure need to come together to achieve a common objective. Let's say, managing mission-critical application. What we are giving the ability to do with Hyperflex is remove the barriers and function as a single unit. First of all, with Hyperflex, we can start with two, three nodes per cluster. Each one of these nodes will be run with, a, with the HX data platform. The HX data platform enables you to do is to pool and share resources across the cluster. Increase performance, maximizing utilization rate of those nodes. Also, an advantage is optimize storage capacity because data platform will continuously replicate and deduplicate. With Cisco, we are including the fabric interconnect. We are able to then incorporate the network. So now we are able to include the compute, the storage, and the network. Operation has drastically simplified because you can manage the compute, the storage, the network by a single pane of glass, which is the UCS manager. The HX nodes also are generating an IP address, so they are, re they are easy to discover on the networks. Hyperflex is built to scale. You can independently scale based on the business need. If you need more compute, slide an extra UCS blade. If you need more storage, just add extra storage directly on the node. If you need to scale out, um, you need extra nodes, you can push horizontally uh, completely the, the full solution, the full Hyperflex uh, architecture. In summary, what are the advantages? You can reduce the TCO very simply thanks to replication, deduplication, optimizing the storage the net and, and, um, and the compute. You can scale much faster, and then you gain a lot of simplicity using um, the UCS manager to, to manage compute storage and network. So now let's go for a quick demonstration. So with the Hyperflex Connect, you can see the operational status, which is online, the resiliency, the capacity. Uh, so you can measure all of these. So you can also look at the different nodes. Okay. We have six nodes. Four of them are converged. Two of them are only uh, compute. And then we have also the virtual machines, which ones are powered on and which ones are powered off. So looking at the systems information, uh, yes, before that, looking at uh, the metrics there, we have the statistics of the input out, input output operation per second. And we have an information on the throughput and also the latency each time we write and read. Then looking at the system information, we can really go deeper into the notes to see which ones are online. Um, we, we are given the IP address, and then we have an ID on the capacity and their usage. Um, and then it, this is where the administrator will put a node into the HX maintenance mode, okay? So if we are scrolling down, we can see also the compute nodes uh, below. If we are looking at the nodes directly, we have some information on the configuration details for the cluster member. Now, if we look at the disk, then here we have uh, the information about the disk um, their capacity, um, but also um, you can turn on the locator light or you can secure arrays one of the disks before you want to RMA replace it. Now we can also look at the data stores in the in the cluster. Uh, gives a visual information on overall data store size, use space, and free space. As a shared environment, visible data stores vary according to demonstrations that are currently running. 
Now, looking at the virtual machines, uh, we have a configuration summary, including the VM status, the storage provisioning, and a view of the HX native snapshots and heady clones will be performed. Now, um, going to the Kubernetes, we have here the possibility to do the providing uh, persistent storage on Kubernetes. And then we have here replication. This is on the scale out where you're going to scale out your nodes. Looking at performance, we can now also benchmark the input output operation per second uh, and the throughput and the latency metrics. Okay. You can do it by hour, by day, by week, by month or six months. Voilà. So, voilà. Um, now we can also look at a, uh, a different cluster uh, to, to change the performance chart view. And then uh, we can also look at the activity here. And the activity show the administrative tasks being performed on the cluster. Hope you enjoyed this very quick overview. And hopefully, if you need any assistance or help, you can definitely uh, contact us at cisco at techdata.be. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.